Hello, today we're going to talk about the platform movement object. Now, in order to get this object, you actually need to go to insert object and go to manager and search it up here, and then you need to download the extension. But once you have it, all you need to do is search it up uh, platform movement object. You're going to get all of this. You don't need to worry about any of this yet. Maybe that seems fair. Um, maybe 300, I don't know. Anyways, that, and then enable jump through platforms. We're going to do that just as an example again. Let's move that off to the side. Let's insert an active, and this is going to be the player. And as last time, we're just going to color him purple and set the origin point to the middle. Hotspot. So that's the player. And then we're going to set in some quick backdrops. Like that. Excuse my bird in the background, he's making lots of noise. Uh, yeah, and this is just going to be an obstacle. Yeah, we don't actually have to change anything. And then we're going to clone this. And just have that like that. Because I think the jump strength is pretty horrible. Anyways, now in order to the pl for the platform object to register that the player is what he's going to control, we need to do at the start of the frame, set the object to be player. Now we're going to insert a group of events, movement, and repeat while D is pressed, and repeat while A is isn't pressed, we're going to have on user input is holding the right input key. I'm going to explain all of this when, I, when I'm done with all of this, and I'm just going to go do that and that, and just change that to that and that to that. So that's just telling him if we're pressing like holding D and not holding A, he's going to move to the right. If he's holding A and not D, he's going to go to the left. And I'm pretty sure this means if you hold A and D, he's not going to move at all. Now, if user presses space, uh, user jump, and maybe if repeat while key is pressed, oh wait, answer. We also have to make sure he's on the ground or else he can just jump forever. So is on standing on the ground. Actually, I don't want to add this event just yet. Now we're going to do the collisions. Yeah, because as you can see, now we're just going to fall through. Now we're actually going to have to test for an obstacle overlap. Or jump through platforms, since that's what we're testing for. Test for jump through platform and he is over collisions with a backdrop. That should work. Movement. Collisions. Does overlap. Yeah. Mm. Let's just try that. Wait, where did I set the object to? He's right there. I'm probably just missing out on something very, very big here. Um, and he... What about if we do overlapping a backdrop? We're going to set the collisions to... Hmm. That actually is weird. Do we actually want to set them to an obstacle? Never mind then. Let's just make this a bit easier. Test for obstacle overlap if 
collides with a backdrop collision no that really doesn't work do we have I think we have to set this to an obstacle first yeah oh we had to set it to an obstacle uh, whoops test for our obstacle overlap so that now if we actually if we don't want that to be we could do test for jump through platform overlap is colliding with a backdrop then collisions maybe we want to set his jump force to be a bit higher max y velocity gravity jump strength 1500 maybe set that and jump strength to one thousand. This is probably going to be too much. Yeah, but see, now you can jump through. And then maybe, ooh, I I just want to test something. Maybe if you press Control and your object states and your No, that's not going to work. But anyways, that's just the basics of the platform movement object, as you can see. You can jump through. Now, if I were to resize this, we can just do that. See, you can go on the edge. You can go through there still so that you don't get stuck, basically, essentially. But yeah, that's the basics of the platform movement object. It's a bit more advanced, but it works a lot better than the regular platform. But remember, you're going to have to actually start with the animations by yourself now. So yeah, thank you for watching. If you need any help, just tell me, and then uh, see you guys next time. Bye.